which amperage alternator do I need? Do I need a 140 amp over a 100 or a 300 over a 140? So if you're asking this question, you're watching the right video. Let's start by figuring out the minimum amperage needed. Make a list of every electrical component that may be running at one time. Ignition, electric fans, lights, fuel pump, air compressor for bags, stereo, etc. Find the normal operating amperage for each component. Contact each manufacturer if you need to. Add them all up. Our example gives us 100 amps. You might think we're done, we're just getting started. This is the minimum required to run your vehicle. A 100 amp alternator is not going to cut it. An alternator produces power like an engine. If your engine is ready for 500 horsepower, it is not going to produce 500 horsepower all the time. That is the most it can produce at a narrow window of operation. Usually at the peak of operating speed, an alternator is no different. Whatever an alternator is rated for is its peak. To find out a safe output at idle and cruising speed, which is where you're normally going to be operating, take 40% of the peak alternator output value. This will be a good starting point and may vary depending on how each alternator is built. Contact the manufacturer for a dyno chart for exact figures. In our example, the 300 amp alternator would best fit our minimum requirement. If this is confusing or just simply sounds like too much work, get the biggest alternator available. An alternator is only going to produce as much as it needs to to keep the battery charged. You cannot over alternator a vehicle, but you can under alternator a vehicle, which will lead to performance issues. And that is the meat of what you need to know about choosing an alternator.